Hey there, this is Vin from Sunny Landing Pages, and this video is about our brand new emailer autoresponder. I'm going to talk to you about how you can set this up for yourself. What is the one time setup you need to do to get started with emailers and how you can connect your landing page with the email autoresponder. So very quickly, after you log in, you'll see this link for emailers on the top right now. It's a brand new link. If you click on that link, it's going to take you to this page here, which is asking you to register for the email autoresponder. Now, I know we're asking you to do this twice, but it's important so that you can have a look at our acceptable use policy, terms of use, privacy policy, and anti-spam policy. It helps, you it, it helps you stay compliant with the can-spam laws and regulations. So just create a new password for your email account. Just click on the terms and click on activate account. And once you've clicked on activate account, it'll take you to your dashboard for your email autoresponder. So there you go. This is our uh, brand new interface and uh, it looks pretty much like what you'd expect from an email autoresponder. You have a starting dashboard over here on the left. You see the options. We have campaigns, contacts, forms, templates, and your whole analytics and activity measurement over here. What I would suggest, what I would recommend actually is uh, the very first thing you should do is click on verified domain. Now verified domain is where you need to prove to the autoresponder that you own the email address you're using to send out emails. What it does is that it shoots out an email to your inbox and asks you to click on that activation link. So I've done that ahead of time and I've received this email which is asking us to click on this activation link. I'm just going to go ahead and click on that link to activate my email. And there we go. We've successfully verified our email address over here. Now, at the bottom now, you see a few new options. It says SPF, DKIM, Tracking, MX, and DMARC. Now, these are a further set of settings that you should really do to uh, make sure that your email is in good standing, your email is in good, has a good reputation. These are uh, pretty simple and easy tasks to do that you should do just to make sure that your emails go into the inbox and not into the spam box. Now, once you've completed these steps, uh, the other thing you might want to do to start off with is go into your contacts and think about what kind of lists you want to create for your contacts. Now, this is not mandatory. You can choose to uh, keep it as a default list. But anyway, I'm going to just show you how you can do that. So if I say create a list over here, and I'm just going to call it landing page demo list. Click on enable on subscription management. What does that mean? It means that your subscribers will be able to see your subscribers will be able to choose which of your available lists they wish to remain on or unsubscribe them. This is at the unsubscribe stage. But anyway, I'm going to go ahead and click on save for now. And there you go. I've created a new demo list over here. It's showing up over here, landing page demo list. What I'm going to do now is go back to our builder and show you how you can connect your landing page form to the autoresponder over here. So here I am. Here's, uh, here's the builder page. I'm going to click on add element, add form. Remember, you can do this on one of our templates as well. This is just an example. So I'm going to add a field called email over here because that's important for any email autoresponder. And over here, you now see a new tab for email autoresponder. I'm going to go ahead and open that. And now this uh, button here says set up autoresponder for this form. Let me go and click on that. And it gives a drop down option for all the lists that appear in your email autoresponder account. So let me go and select landing page demo list. This is what we just created. Click on continue. And the next task is to map your form fields to the list. So you remember we have just two fields in our form, the first name and email. It gives you a list of all the fields available in the email autoresponder so that you can map them correctly. This is just to make sure that 
you eyeball this and make sure that it's mapping correctly and go ahead and click on finish. Now it says success. You've successfully linked your form to your contacts. Let me go and click on back to form and I'll insert this form into the page. So this is just a demo page, a trial page. So let me go ahead and publish this. Select domain. Let's call it autoresponder testing. And I'll select demo page. We are testing a demo page. Okay, let's publish. Okay, so here's the page is published. It's in our dashboard. Let me go and click on the link for you. And this is essentially the page, the testing page that we created. Let's do a test entry over here. So first name, let me say Vin. And email address, let's go ahead and put an email address in here. So let's go. Say Vin for Java, let's send landing pages.com and click on submit. Got a thank you message over here. Now let's jump into the email autoresponder and see how that's looking. We'll look at contacts and lists. And you see it's appearing over here under that particular list. So there you go. It takes only two minutes to set up your email autoresponder and get your form data to start appearing in your autoresponder account as a contact. I hope you find it easy enough, but if you have any questions, let us know. All the best and happy emailing, happy building.